So I'm going to show you how to use PowerPoint to achieve a look like Easy Worship or ProPresenter or something where you have a motion background and the ability to change your lyrics in the foreground without uh, your uh, motion background stopping or pausing or changing. So first we're going to go to PowerPoint. And we're going to open up a new presentation, delete this. And we're going to go to under the home uh, section, select and selection pane. All right. And we're going to grab a new text here. And we're going to grab some lyrics. So I'm going to grab this one because it's simple. Copy. Paste. I'm going to select all. Right click it. Let's make this maybe a 48. We'll center it. And we'll make it something like this. And we'll grab it, move it down to the middle here. Pretty centered. Good. Now we're going to turn it off over here. And we're going to do that again. And we'll grab the next section here. Now this song just repeats, so I don't have to worry about all the other stuff. I'm going to paste it. Select all. Again, let's go 48. And we'll center it. And now we'll kind of just eyeball it here. Yep, great. Perfect. Okay, so now we're going to go to animations. Open up the animation pane, which is over here. And now we can go to any of these and we can add an animation. Now for this one I'm going to add a fade. For fade in and then I'm going to add a fade out. And then for the one above it I'll add a fade in and a fade out. Now it looks like they're on top of each other here. However when you hit play you can hit the forward button and it fades out, fades in, fades out. Great. So now we want to add a video. Grab, how about this one right here? And uh, you're going to want to extend the video to fit the screen right. Because what you do not want to do is try to tell the screen, uh, the program to do a uh, full screen for you. Because if you do that, it'll always be up here on top. But now that it is on top, we want to go ahead and move it to the back so we can see our lyrics. We'll loop it until it stops. This is a looping video. And uh, start automatically. So now, uh, before we move forward, I don't want it to pause at any point, so I'm going to remove this pause command. And this play command, I want it to be the very beginning so that it plays first. So now let's test it. So the video is playing. I hit forward, fades in, forward, fades out. Next, next. Now, if I want to jump backwards to the previous uh, text, I can hit back. Now it'll pop on the screen instead of fade on the screen. But that's okay. You can actually, if you want continuity, instead of using under our animations tab, instead of using um, these effect options of fading in, you can always just use an appear option, which will just click it on. Uh, so it'll just pop back and forth. And the last thing you're going to want to do is probably name your slide, and here's why. So if you go to view an outline view you can name it so this is called uh, the more CQ all right now be careful because it's going to add a title so you're going to want to turn that title off so you don't see it and we'll save it as let's see here perfect the more CQ great. Um, here's why you're going to want to name it because uh, now this is saved as the more CQ. So let's say we were going to make a new set list here. So we'll make a new blank presentation and I want to create a set list of different uh, songs. What I can do, go to new slide, reuse slides, and I'm going to browse and let's say I grab the more I seek you, right? Open it, 
you see it's it'll be named. So it doesn't matter what it looks like over here. You can just click on it and it adds it in. Now you can also do new slides again. Uh, actually, we'll just do it over here. It's already open. We'll do like Spirit Center Church. Open. And we'll click on it. We've added that one. And we'll do one more time. And you might want to uh, choose to keep your source formatting if uh, there's a formatting that might affect things. We'll just add this one. Um, yeah. Okay, great. And we'll just delete uh, this slide. So now, if we were to play through these, play, next, next. If I want to go back, there I am again. The video keeps playing and it's looping. So we don't have to worry about it stopping. You can just let it play and play and play if you want to. And then when you get to the next slide, you have the next video. Now, I'll show you that as you go through this, you get to these next things here, right? Um, if I were to play this, uh, project this from my computer onto, let's say, a projector using uh, the presenter view, I would see my uh, motion and what's on the projector on one side. And on the other side, I would have either what's coming next or perhaps different slides to click around. So here's one thing that you cannot do in this. You can't like click verse and then course and then back to verse and then bridge. You have to use the forward and backwards buttons to jump around. However, what you can do is you can jump around between songs. So let's say you want to jump from one song to five songs later. Because they're just slides, you can just click on the next slide, whatever slide you want, and it'll jump you to that song. And then within that, you click forward and backwards and forward and backwards so that you can um, achieve your uh, lyrics popping on the screen with the video playing in the background. So that's how you can uh, use PowerPoint to achieve a pro presenter or an easy worship type look. Now if you were to save a bunch of these in one place you could of course then um, in a new PowerPoint presentation use your uh, reuse slide option and it would actually list all of your different uh, songs, but of course you would have to name them. You'd have to go to view and then name each one. Oh, it looks like it's actually brought in the names, which is great. So I hope this helps.